So the first thing you notice when you pick up the U-Perfect X Pro is just kind of the size and heft. And size is where I want to start this long-term review. Now, this is a 15-inch screen, and I know that for some people, it might be a little bit large. In my opinion, at the price point that this screen comes in at, which we will talk about, I think it's necessary to have that large screen. It means that you can use the screen with a conventional desktop as a secondary monitor at home. You can use this to play video games on. Uh, you can use it as a second display for your laptop if you want it. And ultimately, it gives it a lot more versatility and a lot more value because you have that amount of screen real estate. Now, Powering that screen is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. And if you are not charging your phone, you will get around four, maybe four and a half hours of screen on time with it. If you have a Samsung phone and you have battery protection on, limiting your charge to 85%, you plug your phone in at 85%, you can get about three and a half to four hours or so. If you're not charging your phone, it should be four and a half or so hours. But if you plug your phone in and it's dead, well, obviously you're gonna cut into your runtime significantly with it. Now, on the back of the monitor is the hinge. And this hinge is kind of a love and hate thing of mine. Recently, I went on a trip to Saigon in the south. My flight was delayed three hours. I didn't want to go to a cafe, nor were their cafes open in the airport. And the fact that I couldn't put this on my lap to work on it like a conventional laptop was a big damn, like a, a big bummer for me. That said, the keyboard on it is removable. So you could use this as a tablet if you wanted. Unfortunately, the kickstand blocks the ports. So if you're going to have your phone attached to it and you do want to use this as a tablet, you have to... The keyboard's attached pretty well. I just dropped it. Durability test. It's fine. Uh, but if you want to use this one-handed, you're going to have to have the kickstand folded all the way back. Now, these added pouches that I have, uh, this is from my company called TechFluent, uh, and I'm using two of them. I cut a hole in one of them. This just holds my phone onto the back of the display really securely. Talking about the keyboard that I did just drop, it is magnetically attached and it uses pins as a connection. So there's no Bluetooth keyboard pairing. The keyboard itself is like the Microsoft Surface style, meaning really, really shallow key travel, not the most like inspiring keyboard to use, but it works great. Trackpad on the bottom. Trackpad is about the same size, if not a little bit bigger than some cheap, like Chromebooks, cheap, inexpensive laptops. It's hinged at the top, so it's at the, the, the bottom part is where it's the most clicky, but obviously you can double tap it if you're not a, a mouse clicky type of person. There is no built-in palm rejection in any kind of software because there's no computing inside of this U-Perfect X Pro. Luckily, you do have the ability to turn off the trackpad when not in use and when you're typing on it. It's something that in my two and a half weeks of using this as my only mobile computing option, I've done a lot. And being able to turn off the trackpad works great. Uh, you can change the layout to Windows or Android for like hotkeys and stuff, which again, is also great. I wanna cover some more features and things that I like and hate about it. But first, my name is Mitchell. I am fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more upcoming videos about Samsung DeX and about the mobile computing phone-based ecosystem. If you wanna go ahead and buy those pouches, I will have a link to where you can down below. And full disclosure, Uperfect sent this to me. Now, things that I love and hate about this would be the ports and the port placement. You can't use the ports if the kickstand is down. I don't like that. Now it does have one USB port to connect your phone, one USB-C port to charge it, one USB-C OTG port, as well as a mini HDMI port. And then there's a little scroll wheel so you can go through the graphical user interface that's built into this. So the graphical user interface is not particularly well-rounded, it's very min minimalistic. You can do everything that you want, change languages, uh, adjust the screen calibration, et cetera. Um, it also has a headphone jack, which is great that you have a headphone jack, especially if you wanna do something like gaming with this. If your phone doesn't have a headphone jack, no problem, headphone right here. It does have speakers built in, but the speakers built in on it are 
okay at best, terrible at worst. You're not buying this for the speakers. The screen is another thing that I kind of love and hate. Now my unit is a 15 inch 1080p version. You can get a 4K version. The model I have has a maximum screen brightness around 300 nits, which is totally fine for indoor use. I don't know if the 4K version has more screen brightness, but you really can't use this outside or in direct sunlight. The screen gets totally washed out. You would need something closer to, to maybe 500 nits to be able to see that. But I think for the intent and purpose of this, this is fine. Another thing that I kind of love and hate about this setup uh, is the fact that you are using Samsung DeX and there's no way to get around that. There's things like the lack of built-in palm rejection is a bit of a headache. The fact that some of your favorite internet browsers are going to respond very differently uh, on desktop mode on a large screen. And I will be doing an in-depth browser comparison for you guys, subscribe for that. I, now I kind of want to get to the elephant in the room, which is the price. This retails for, I think around 400 or $450, definitely more than like the $350 Uperfect X or the Uperfect 360, the one that's like similar to the next doc. Um, this is a more premium offering. That said, you can do more with this because you can detach the keyboard, put it on a desk and use it as a secondary monitor for your laptop, use it as a secondary monitor for your desktop and you can get a little bit more money or you can get a little more value out of it. Something that I love about this and the fact that it does utilize Samsung DeX is the fact that when I got this originally from Uperfect, I had a Samsung S20 FE with six gigabytes of RAM. The performance on it was okay at best. Multitasking with the six gigabytes of RAM wasn't the smoothest. I now have an S21 plus with the Exynos variant, eight gigabytes of RAM plus the virtual RAM, and there is a huge upgrade in performance. Just like that, I upgraded my computer without upgrading my computer. And I think that for college students, for people like myself that needed to have a productivity focused laptop solution for on the go, this makes a lot of sense. You're always connected. Things like Google Docs works flawlessly. Your calendar, your notes, everything is always synced and always ready to go. And there's no like, what's the Wi-Fi password? I don't have the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi here is bad. What like it's always connected. And that is fantastic. It charges pretty fast with a 27 watt USB-C power delivery hub. Uh, zero to 100% takes about two hours. You can also trickle charge it with an 18 or a 10 watt. You can trickle charge it with a 10 watt USB-A charger, which will essentially keep it at whatever charge you have as long as you're topping off your phone's battery, which is great for like a long-term plugged in solution. Now, if you guys have other things that you want me to comment on this, let me know in the comment section down below. But ultimately the decision about whether or not this device is worth your money comes down to whether or not you have a mobile workflow or you need to have the ability to always be connected and you don't need to have a lot of computing horsepower. That said, I have edited photos in Adobe Lightroom on this on the go and I can edit raw files as well directly off my phone through this. And if you guys want me to do a video about that kind of workflow, the apps I use, the accessories I use, let me know. But are you a Samsung DeX mobile computing type of person or do you need to have the conventional laptop, conventional applications, et cetera? I know that for most students in a lot of the world, this setup is more than enough. And the fact that you're always able to like upgrade it when you upgrade your phone really makes it a killer long-term investment. Till next time, it's been Mitchell, peace.